Hello everybody, I am John and this is the Midnight Paint and Body Channel. And on this video, we're back to work on the 1952 Chevy sedan delivery. So if you watched the first video on this one guys, you know this is a uh, 1952 Chevrolet sedan delivery. Uh, it's going to be eventually a nice hot rod. So if you watched the last one, I did all the metal work on this side of the car, or most of the metal work. So we've got the lower quarters done, lower doors, rockers, we've got the front floor pans installed. Uh, so yeah, all pretty straightforward stuff. So where I'm at now on this one, that door needs a little adjustment. Where I'm at now, I have been fighting with this side, so I'm kind of mocking up all the metal on this side right now. So, as you can see, I've been working on that. Now, initially, so you can see it's got a different door on it. This is the door off the car that I had stripped and sandblasted when I initially cleaned the car up. Now, it turned out that this one had been overextended, so it had been opened too far so this check strap probably broke door opened beyond where it should have opened and it squashed all this inner so you can see at some point somebody's drilled holes to push this out and, but it turns out this whole hinge area is all tweaked and this door is just in really bad shape actually so so it doesn't fit the hole properly so my next step was to Take you for a little walk here. Put all my junk in the way. But so we went out to this car. So as you can see over there is another 52 Chevy sedan delivery. Uh, that one's actually really far gone, but the customer had bought it quite some time ago because there's a lot of good chrome and stuff on it, or stainless I should say, that we're gonna need for this one. So. But it turned out the door on it didn't look too bad, so I went and took it off and gutted it and fit it to the car and it just, you can see how it's kind of sprung, I just can't quite get it to fit right. Because this one had the same problem. So it also had a broken check strap and it is all bent on this inner and it's, you know, I thought I could save it, I thought it was better than that one, but man it's just... It's just not very good. And then back here as well, it's hard to tell, but like this is all squished. So like this inner is all bent in and it's just not good. So that was plan B. Let me show you plan C. I should probably put a jacket on. It's getting cold out here again today. So here's our plan C. So customer actually just bought this one today. And it turns out this thing's actually pretty good and it's got a lot of parts. He said the grill in here, I didn't look at it closely. He said the grill in here is way better than the one he had. But what we're after is this door and a four door sedan door is the same as that sedan delivery. Now a two-door sedan has longer doors, but this four-door sedan door will work. And this one isn't bad at all. So I haven't got it off yet, obviously, but our post in there looks good. Now this one also is missing the check strap. And I do believe this one has also, well actually you can see that dent in the stainless right there. So you can see this one has also been overextended and opened too far but it's not sprung like those other ones so so it fits nice it fits the hole nice um yeah i think this one is the winner so i'm gonna go ahead right now and just get this one taken off and get it into the shop and then i'll bring you guys back and show you what's happening well let's see if this one comes apart as easy as all these other ones have Something kind of cool about these old cars, guys. This one might make a liar out of me, but yeah, look at that. The 
bolts all just seem to come out. Now, I mean, these are fine thread bolts. And here I've got it loosened off and I'm taking it out with my fingers. Look at the threads on these. They look brand new. I work on 10 year old pickup trucks all the time that you definitely can't do this on. That is kind of unbelievable. Yeah, that's, that's just wild. No rust at all in those threads. Well, guys, I have that door sitting on the sedan delivery. So, doors from a 52 Chevy sedan, two-door, will not work on this because they're a lot longer than these doors. Now, I scoured the internet because the internet is always right. And everything, or not everything, a few things I came across said that the door from a four-door sedan will work on the two-door sedan delivery. So here's what we're up against now. So here's our sedan delivery door. Nice round corner. Round. Four-door sedan door. Where? That's right. So, turns out it is just a minor setback. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have to admit, when I first threw it on there, my heart kind of sunk and thought, oh crap. My customer has just gone and purchased, purchased this whole car at uh, with my telling him that these doors would work, but uh, I guess I didn't know for sure. So, what I've done. So I've just gone ahead and made a little cardboard template off of that door. I have put it up to this door, marked a little line, so this is actually gonna be just fine. So, other than the fact that, see the way the metal folds around on the end, I'm just gonna be cutting this out a little bit and then I'll just run a bead of weld around there and I might just have to put that inside little lip of weld on so it's, I well I will, so that it's doubled up so that it's not just a single piece of sheet metal on this corner because it won't have any strength, so. So, I am just gonna nip that guy off of there and then we'll figure this one out after. But at least we can get it sitting in the hole and then I can start actually aligning it to fit. But I do believe we're gonna be okay. Much more aligning to do on the store, but now that it fits in the hole, I'll carry on with that. Well, here we are, guys, end of the day. So yes, turns out this door is gonna work out great. So, obviously I rounded off a couple of corners, that I'll build up with a little weld, put some strength in it, and smooth it all out. But other than that, so I've been starting to kind of tack the rocker into place a little better, and a little bit of the floor that I just wasn't sure about its placement until I actually had the door. So I am happy with that. So, and it turns out that, yeah, I mean, this, this door is pretty darn solid. It needs a bottom, which I'm totally fine with that because we have the parts. I wouldn't expect anything less, but overall, I mean, it seems reasonably straight and solid, so I'm, I'm happy with it. So, that's the end of the day. I've had enough for today. When we come back tomorrow, hopefully we're just going to continue on doing a bunch of the welding. I probably won't record a heck of a lot of that stuff because I did a video of all of that on the other side. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, everybody, I'm back on the metalwork on the 52 sedan delivery. So yesterday we got that door fitting nicely. 
so I'm wanting to move on to this quarter panel here. So now before I can put these quarter panel pieces on, you can see our wheel arch inner is a little rotten. So it's actually, you know, for what it is, it's pretty darn solid, but it still needs to be replaced. So I've been making this piece on the shrinker stretcher, so just a basic piece of sheet metal, and then I've been stretching the ends to create those curves. I've just about got it where I want it. I think we just need to arch this upper just a hair, so. I know I've showed you guys this before. I'll kind of show you how this guy works. If I can set the camera there somewhere. So we're wanting just to create just a little bit more arch here. So we're just going to put this in the stretcher. I'm just going to give this some really light Create just a little more of an arch. Get in there. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but that's arched it quite a bit more there. Probably too much. indeed I put a little too much in it. I always do that. Anyway, that's easy to remedy. I will put the shrinking teeth in the machine and I'll pull that back just a little bit in the center and it'll be good. Okay, so that just took a second. Not a big deal. Just pulled it back a hair. Never fails when I turn the camera on for this kind of stuff. It doesn't work the first time. So there is how our piece is going to fit. Basically, it's not right in place because I'm doing it one-handed. But I am going to kind of mark this. I'm going to trim out this old metal here. And we're just going to weld this guy in place. And that's going to give us a nice solid foundation to weld our new panel to. And obviously gets rid of some of this rust. So I'm going to move on with that. And I'll periodically bring you guys back. So just to kind of show you guys what I'm doing here, I'm just doing like a cut and butt. So I'm cutting away this old metal and then putting tack welds along this new metal. And then when I'm done that old piece, I'll be able to pull out the back side. <laughs> This way we'll have a seamless transition when it's all done. We won't be overlapping any metal. So that'll pull out the back no problem once I get all the way around. And it'll be one solid piece. So there we are all tacked in place. There's our old wheel lip pulled out from behind. Uh, so now I've just pre-fitted the panel again before I solid weld everything. And I feel like this should just move this section just right there should just move in a hair so I'm gonna just cut those welds squeeze that in just a eighth of an inch just to get a little better fit and then I'll be happy with it and we'll final weld all of this hey guys so I'm back working on the 52 sedan delivery so I honestly don't even remember where I left off on this I was doing a little recording on the other side 
I have moved on to putting door bottoms on. Now, if you watched the last video on this, that's why I'm not filming a bunch of this. I did the full door bottom on that door. And what we'd had were parts for a two-door sedan, so these inners were way too long. So, just for a recap, there is our outer panel. So you can see how much longer it is. So that's a simple piece to shorten. Uh, the inside panel is a little trickier and actually the way I'm doing it, I'm because it's a different size, the old one or the, the full piece kind of comes right up here through these, but our metal is good. So we don't need to get into these shapes here. So I'm just going below them. Uh, so I've got this piece tacked in. I'm just gonna cut out the next piece and kind of same idea. I'll go below this and kind of up and around and, and put the bottom on and that takes care of all the rust. So I'll do that. I'll get this bottom on. I'll get this door bolted back onto the wagon um, before final welding and putting that uh, outer skin on. And I also need to take this hinge brace out of the old blower. So this whole piece here needs to all the spot welds need to be drilled out and this needs to be welded in to oh, this area right here on the inside so because i'd forgotten where i'm at on this just thought i'd do a little check-in and i'll periodically come in and uh before too long we're going to be into new territory on this thing we're kind of just kind of recapping a little bit what i did on the other side already is why i was, like i said wasn't making a full video on that but Anyway, bring you guys back when there's something more interesting. Well, hello everyone. It's me again. So I've been continuing on with our driver door a little bit here. So I've got our new inner bottom welded on. So like I mentioned, these were too long. So I just sectioned this one and shortened it up. So not too big a deal. Um, Quite honestly, this door was on and off the car about seven times to, until I got it just right. Uh, this one, uh, for some reason, I had to fight with this one a lot more than I did the passenger side. The passenger side just kind of fell into place nicely, but uh, they can't always go easy. So uh, with that done, I'm going to flip this over and start working on the outer door skin. So I'll be doing that and then probably jump back over here. I've got just a little bit of welding finishing up to do at the front of the rocker because initially I hadn't solid welded everything until I had a door fit to this. So I'll be working on that a little bit. And yeah, I'll bring you guys back when I'm making some progress on the door with our outer skin. Well, I've jumped ahead a little bit on you guys here. I've got this door pretty much all welded up. Uh, I've got all the gaps looking decent, so I am happy with that. Welded up most of the unnecessary holes. So it is still going to need some fine tuning, um, but it is pretty darn good. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. So, there's probably a little bit of welding left on the inside, but I'm going to pop it back off. I'm going to take this outside and get it all sandblasted now, get it all cleaned up. And then I'll finish weld anything that needs to be done. And then we'll move on to something else. Well, as always, the old sandblaster reveals all. So, I mean, this door is pretty good. It's reasonably straight outside. And yeah, the rest of it's okay. But I found this area here has a bunch of rot. So made a quick template out of, a, out of some tape. And I'm just making a quick patch. I'm still shaping it a little bit. I'll get that to where I'm happy with the fit. And then I'm going to have to just kind of zip cut out this inner. And then I'll try and butt this right in with the original metal. So there's that. And then up here is going to be actually be a little trickier than that piece. So I figured I'd do the easy one first and move up to this one. And then... Uh, Hopefully, get this door back on, and yeah, actually, maybe once this is on, we'll start getting this thing ready to go on the rotisserie. 
Well, guys, now that I've got this door welded up and fitted nicely, we're gonna switch gears a little bit on this thing again. There is still a bunch of metal work to do, um, but it's not critical for the structure. I wanted to get all of this stuff welded solid before putting this car on the rotisserie. So, that is gonna be our next task. So I'm gonna just kind of start to eyeball things. So you can see the rotisserie arms. I will be basically just lining those up with the kind of frame section of the body. I'm gonna bolt a couple of pieces of this one and a half by one and a half square tubing to them. And those are gonna stick out enough where they're just gonna sleeve into here and then I will I'll either drill and bolt, or I might even just weld them up completely solid. Um, you know, they can always be cut back off. That's not a big deal. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start cleaning out the car. And also what I'm going to do before putting this on the rotisserie, I've decided I'm going to keep the doors on the car. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of little strips of sheet metal. In a couple of places, I'm going to actually weld these doors shut. So that'll add a little more rigidity to the car uh, because I put, I put a lot of work into getting these gaps decent. Now, you know, I, I wouldn't have kind of fine-tuned my gaps until it was back bolted to the frame anyway. Um, so we know everything is completely square because these things do move around. So I think by... Uh, Tacking these doors shut, uh, that's going to just keep our gaps. You know, I don't really need to get in the car while it's on the rotisserie. All my structural stuff is done. Uh, the only thing is it would be nice to maybe, yeah, well, I guess re-sandblast the inside while it's on the rotisserie. But I guess I'll just see how that goes. Um, so yeah, that is where we're at. So... It's actually lunchtime now, but I just got back from picking up some steel. So I'm going to take a quick break. When I come back, we'll start figuring out how we're going to hang this thing. Well, I thought I better bring you guys in for another little check-in here. I'm kind of moving ahead. So, like I mentioned before, so I've just put some little scraps of sheet metal in a couple of spots on these doors. So, they are welded shut like the General Lee. Uh, it's going to be a little bit inconvenient for working on it while it's on the rotisserie, but in my mind this is going to keep the car nice and square, which is my biggest concern. I've got my door gaps pretty darn close to where I want them. They'll basically get finished off in bodywork because they're, they're pretty darn good. So that'll keep the door gaps there. And then what I've been doing back here, so now I cut these pieces of pipe, uh, this, uh, two by two square tubing. Uh, so this is kind of the, the main structure of the body. So I've got it bolted there. I've actually got this piece drill pre-drilled here and I just need to drill through and I'm gonna put another bolt there. But I just gotta wait until I get this up a little bit just so I can get the drill underneath. And I will drill that. And then, so obviously this just needs to connect to that. So what I'm doing there, I just cut a couple of slugs, basically. So this one will just go in there, get bolted through. And once I find right where it's going to sit here, these are a pretty loose fit, but I think I'm just going to jam a chunk of scrap metal or something in there to make it tight. And I'm actually going to weld this part. So that is also all straightforward. So I'm just going to continue on with this back part here. Uh, yeah, I'll get this all kind of bolted up and welded up and then I'll kind of show you guys how it's going to work.
forgot about Brad's work. Why didn't you guys tell me that was hitting? Well guys, been a bit of a thrash today, but uh, it is on the rotisserie. You see I haven't cleaned up yet, shop is a disaster, but that's a tomorrow problem. So I figured I'll just quickly show you guys what I did, just in case this is helpful for anybody. Uh, it seems to be good and solid. So I've gone on the front, right from the, the, the arms that came on there, that obviously came with that way. I can't speak today. I went right to these main arms that are just part of the, the rotisserie structure. I didn't add anything to them in this case. I already had the holes there. So these are really solid body mounts here. I actually cut a piece of pipe and put it inside each one of these because this is pretty thin walled. Um, this would probably crush somewhat once I crank these bolts down. So I put that pipe in there so that can't crush. And then I've taken this thick walled one by one and gone from this body mount to this body mount. So those are the two kind of strongest parts on this body. So it seems to be super solid. So I've done that obviously both sides. And I've already kind of showed you the back, but we'll go around there again. So, you know, I probably didn't even, well, I probably could have gone right to these arms. It would have been but this would have been right in there and I kind of want to be able to fit this back door and stuff too. So, so this will work out well. So we are bolted in two places there. And this is good solid kind of frame like part of the body. So that is going to work. So we'll have it cranked down. I haven't tried turning it yet. Figured we'll experience that together. Let's just give her a little, a little twist. Now the nice thing about this rotisserie that I bought is that it's got this kind of gear reduction. Whatever you call it, spin around thing. So. high enough to go too far, we'll kind of bring it back the other way, we'll go around the other side for a look. Yeah, well, she's not falling off. So I can't go too much farther, I mean this, these jacks can go up quite a bit higher. I'll take these bolts out and I can raise this up and then I'll be able to get it completely on its side. I think we're gonna hit the, well, I guess we could keep going a bit. But you can see how this is gonna be beneficial. I've still got, you know, quite a lot of work to do under this car. It's, it's honestly, most of it is really solid. There is a ton of undercoat and stuff that needs to be cleaned off. Uh, a couple of these braces. I think this was a bad one. So yeah, I just need to kind of rebuild the end of a couple of these braces, which is not a huge deal. You can see where I've already kind of made my inner rockers over there and up in here. So, you know, the, the underside of this car where, you know, we're not going for full, you know, candy paint polish, like it's probably going to be I'm thinking maybe we'll just do like a rock guard or a bed liner or something on the 
on the underside of this one. We'll make it nice, we'll get it all nice and clean and do a nice job of it, but it's, you know, this car is gonna be so low, the only time anyone will see underneath it is if it's on a hoist or on a rotisserie. But yeah, this is, this is gonna be great. I'll be able to get this outside to sandblast the whole underside of the car. First, I'm gonna to have to clean a whole crap load of undercoat off, but, but yeah, good solid car. You know, honestly, it would have been nice if I could have put this on here to do all my metal work on the sides, but I just, in my mind, this all needed to be done first to put structure back in this car. And then, like I mentioned before, I've done three spots on each door, and of course it's bolted on the hinge at the front, so that is going to keep that door gap where I want it. After the underside is done, when this thing comes back down, then I can finish the bodywork, I can finish the gap super nice, and all of that stuff. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to really... Well... I don't think I'll really be able to finish the front fenders until that frame gets done and this body is bolted back to it because I won't be able to get my gaps and everything on the front fenders, but but still a crap load of work to do. So, so anyway, guys, I hope that was somewhat helpful. I mean, the rotisserie is kind of neat. This is honestly the second time I've ever put a car on one. The last one was that 70 Charger I did. You might have seen the videos on. They're a little easier because they've got a lot of structure in the bumper mounting points where you just bolt right to where the bumpers bolt on on that, uh, what is it, a B body dodge? I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is gonna work out well. So, as always guys, I wanna thank you for hanging out watching the video. Oh yeah, I'll keep babbling. That's another cool thing. I'll be able to flip this right up and do the body work on the roof as well, because this is going to need a fair bit still up there. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to thank you for watching the video, for hanging out. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining or something. As always, thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one.